originally from Hawaii, and when my family relocated to the mountains, my dad had been surfing his whole life. That was his sport, and the next best thing was snowboarding. So he taught all us kids to snowboard, and it really was like a family outing. I've been competing in half pipe for 15 years, and it's really challenging in a lot of ways. Obviously, you're on a competition stage, everyone's looking at you, and you have to perform under pressure. And in opposition to that, I've gotten into this big mountain riding side of snowboarding with no other humans in sight a lot of time and have to perform under pressure, but in a, in a very different way. I've gotten a little bit into this human-powered snowboarding. I'm really passionate about it. It is basically being able to access mountains without any sort of machinery, so no chairlifts, snowmobiles, helicopters, just your own two feet and you use a split board, which is basically a snowboard that splits in half and turns into skis. So you can hike up the mountains and ride them back down all on your own power. And it's a really cool way to experience wilderness. I started working with Protect Our Winters quite a while ago. Protect Our Winters is a really great organization founded by another professional snowboarder, really just trying to get the winter sports athletes and organizations involved in protecting winter and protecting our, our earth so that we can do the things that we love. And so we basically go in and teach kids about climate change and that's a really fun program. Kids are so excited about the earth and, and how they can help protect it and that's like a really fun thing to be a part of as well. I would say the biggest change that I've ever made in my life is actually leaving this life of competitive snowboarding to getting into the backcountry, pursuing filming and really trying to tell stories through film rather than competition and I think that that's what life's all about is being able to have those evolutions and, and those periods of time where you can kind of turn to the next chapter of your life and push yourself in new ways. I've been really lucky to live a life that leads to me pushing my boundaries and we're so used to being in our comfort zone and living a normal way and having this security and I think uh, as humans we're like more drawn to that but when you can step outside that comfort zone and really push yourself and push your boundaries whether it's mentally or physically or really any, any way I think that that's really where all the magic happens.